What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Albert and today what we're going to be talking about is how to have the best year of your life. The best 2022. Um, recording this on December 31st and I've had this uh, all these different thoughts about a video um, of the recent things that I've been experiencing in terms of my spiritual growth, in terms of my myself, uh, self journey, uh, because to be honest, 2021 has been the most transitional year of my life in terms of um, awakening to my truth and awakening to um, who I am at my core. And so with that, I, I really believe that um, one of my overall missions in life is to inspire others um, to to find that within themselves, because I believe everybody has access to that, but this current world, it kind of diminishes that, those aspects of you to make you believe that, um, that you're, you're not thriving, that you don't have the ability to thrive no matter um, which stage of your, uh, of your journey you're on. So I'll start off by, in, by saying that um, the main concept that I'll be really explain in this video is understanding that there's different levels of consciousness. And I'll actually put up a chart uh, to give you a general understanding of what levels of consciousness are. You don't need to pause the video and study all of it, but um, really just what I'm trying to make a point of here is that the current world is really based around a lot of fear, a lot of um, victimness, a lot of just being scared and being uncertain. And that's really at the bottom of a level of consciousness that we are capable of experiencing as human beings, whereas love, enlightenment is uh, near the top. And so there's a lot of reasons for that. And the main reason is because it's a really a form of control. And the more that um, you're being controlled, the harder it is to really live a life um, in alignment with your true purpose and your true nature of who you are as a human being. And uh, in this current world, it's it's really, um, it's, it's becoming more and more common to be become a part of that collective consciousness of um, being lost and being hopeless. And so uh, that's, that's really where I feel uh, a big calling to, to speak up and um, share my experiences and help at least somebody. So, um, I took a few notes here. I'm uh, just going to glance over them real quick. Um, so yeah, with, with that being said, um, humans are going to continue healing the more we awaken to this. Um, and we are going through a huge awakening right now. We're entering from a stage of kind of a, a fake kind of um, sugar coated stage. I believe it was like maybe 2010 where the internet really started to rise. Um, have you noticed there's there's that there's this like transitional phase that we've recently been through um, of where it's really difficult to be fake now, like especially since this whole COVID thing started. Um, nowadays, it's, it's really difficult to at least for me or um, hopefully that somebody else can relate to this, but it's really difficult to um, to not see behind the facade, not see behind the curtain, especially the more you awaken to um, your true self. And you can really see it by looking into people's eyes and having uh, genuine conversations. And it's funny that the current world is really pushing you away from that genuine conversation, away from that genuine um, connection with human beings. You know, we got the metaverse now where you're in, in, a, in a virtual reality. So we're not having as many of those connections anymore. We're having these lockdowns. And so um, that leads me to my next point is understanding that your freedom and your peace of mind is all you have. Once, once that's gone, um, you're left with nothing. And so with that being said, I think it's really important to not let that specific topic lead you into another um, form of fear. Because as I think about this and as I try to spread this message out there, I understand it can be a little bit paradoxical. It's like I'm talking about how everything is fear-based and you should be fearful that everything is fear-based, um, which, which does sound a little bit paradoxical, so I think it's important to point that out. Um, but the thing is, what whether 
you are a spiritual person, whether you're a religious person, whatever it be, um, as long as we're connected to our hearts and connected to our uh, true nature of who we are as humans, um, the universe really, really supports that. And I oftentimes find that people who uh, find themselves in a victim state, I'm really speaking for myself when I say other people because um, you know we're one and I, I have these similar experiences myself. So um, putting yourself into a victim mode, why does this cer certain situation, why did these people leave my life? Why did this not work out? Why did this not happen? Um, I find it really interesting now that I've had these, uh, so to say, epiphanies because um, everything that doesn't serve you eventually has to leave. Every relationship, every friendship, every um, path, every everything. If you, the more you force it, the more problems you're going to continuously face within it. So, in 2022, in order to have the best year that you could possibly have, instead of running away from um, from the signs that are consistently being given to you. It's, it's really important to start becoming the observer. Take a, take a bird's eye view of what's really going on and understand that everything is actually working in your favor. And the more you believe that everything is working in your favor, favor the more um, you will start aligning to different circumstances, different realities, different um, situations that are really in alignment with who you are as a human being. And who you are is really a uh, fifth dimensional uh, multi-dimensional um, soul having this human being experience in this body in this in this shell and um, that, that's really been kind of a, a big uh, realization I've had this year um, so instead of suppressing everything that didn't work out in the past you know, it's you, we got to go back to the drawing board here and really understand what are you doing this for? What are your new year resolutions for? You know, I, I find that oftentimes people have new year res resolutions for um, for reasons of proving others wrong or um, trying to impress somebody or trying to um, try to force, force, force. And the more we force, the more we're actually moving away from um what we're really trying to manifest within our lives. So let's start remembering who we are and what we came here for. Um, and just because, just because the surroundings, everything is based around a lot of fear. Everything is based around a lot of low vibration energy. Going back to the levels of consciousness, um, you know, we're we're tribal animals at the end of the day, and so when every surrounding, everything around us is consistently a certain way, it's a lot easier to adapt to that um, frame and to that level of understanding. It's a lot more heroic to um, to speak about things in a way that is completely different from um, society's norms, and to see something. Um, from a from a, an observer's view and really really questions. It's, it's really important to start questioning um, to start questioning everything and start questioning these agendas in the world and what is this all for? And I'm not really trying to make this video to um, you know talk about conspiracy theories um, because that's not that's not for me to to convince you of anything because everybody ultimately has their own truth. But the reality is, become aware. Um, of these outside influences because there are energies in this world that don't want you to experience that level of love, that level of peace, that level of freedom. And so the only way to really regain that is become aware of these, these signs, no more ignoring these signs. So, um, I'll really wrap up this video by if you're going to get anything from uh, if I really want to um, make one point clear here is to start becoming an observer in 2022. Um, you know, start start observing what is really in alignment with you and start observing what resonates with you most. And as long as you follow that relentlessly, you know, you're going to be tested continuously you're, you're going to, you're going to notice that the more you're in alignment with yourself. And I've noticed this so much for myself, there's different little distractions. There's, um, surface level distractions that really ultimately aren't serving you. And 
Um, the more tests you pass within that, the more that your manifestations, the more your ideal life, the more love will be brought forth into your life. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope um, some of these words resonated with you. Uh, I was really kind of speaking off the top of my dome here and uh, thought I'd make this video just to hopefully inspire some people um, beginning this new year. So thank you for watching. Uh, hope you have a great start to your year. Hope you have a great year. Sending you all the love, sending you all the blessings. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.